Hey guys, welcome to the Explanation Pro. In this video, I am gonna talk about the 2021 war historical drama, The Shadow in My Eye. As usual, there will be spoilers ahead, so take them with a grain of salt and let's get started. The film is set up during World War II in the European country Denmark. March 21, 1945 is considered to be one of the worst days in the country. At that time, the country was completely under the control of Germany. The headquarters of the Denmark police, Gestapo is situated in Copenhagen, Denmark's capital. On the 21st of March 1945, the British army wanted to carry on a mission. Its name is Operation Carthage. The British planned on bombing the Gestapo headquarters in order to free Denmark from Germany's rule. The British Air Force played a key role in this mission. But, unfortunately, they missed the target and bomb a Catholic school in Denmark. Many civilians and students lost their lives during this and many were deeply injured. This is one of the worst things that happened during World War II. Even today, the people of Denmark remember this day as the worst day of the war. Then we see a boy named Henry on his cycle carrying some eggs going to his home. He is going through the jute fields of Denmark. It is in the year 1945. Then we see three girls getting ready to go to a function. They get in a car after getting ready and the driver intends to take them to their destination. But, on their way, the car is attacked and all four of them lose their lives. Henry is cycling on the route. He sees a fighter aircraft in the sky. He trunks back to see the car which is attacked. He goes towards it. The car is in a very bad situation as the fighter aircraft shoots it too many times. He pees through the car's window and sees the dead bodies. He is terrified by the scene. He leaves his things there and starts running towards his home. In the next scene, we see Frederick. He is in Copenhagen. He is a Danish police officer but is currently working for the Germans. Frederick's father is mad at him as he is working for the Germans. He says that Frederick is a coward as he is not able to stand up for his own country and is working with the Germans. The same day, another soldier comes to meet Frederick. He says that the Danish resistance soldiers came to his house to threaten him. The Danish resistance hates the Germans and anyone who supports the Germans is also considered an enemy. He asks Frederick if he can stay at his place for the night. Frederick refuses. The other soldier says that the Danish resistance intends to kill him. Frederick says that there is nothing he can do and also tells him that he will meet him in the German headquarters after a while. Next, we see a small girl named Eva on the road walking along with her mother. There a couple of soldiers meet the soldier who went to Frederick for help. They shoot him in the same spot. Eva sees this scene and is terrified. Her mother closes Eva's eyes and takes her away. Henry reaches his home after seeing the gruesome scene. He is so terrified that words stopped coming out of his mouth. His mother tries to make him speak but she fails. She takes him to the hospital. But Henry is still in shock and is not able to speak anything. The doctor keeps questioning him but he is not able to tell anything, water starts rolling out of his eyes. Henry tries to explain what he saw with signals but nobody understands him. Henry's mother decides to leave him at her sister's house which is located in Copenhagen City. She hopes that Henry may be able to speak up if there is a change in the environment. Two British Air Force soldiers named Peter and Andy. They meet their general. Then we get to know that Peter and Andy were the ones responsible for the attack on the jute lands that day. The general says that they shoot the car with three Danish girls and a driver thinking it belonged to the Germans. A small misunderstanding caused the death of four innocent humans. Peter and Andy feel very guilty after listening to this. They do not forgive themselves for taking four innocent lives. The next scene is set up in the shell house. The German soldiers captured a Danish resistance soldier. They question him about their plans and motives. But the soldier refuses to answer and does not open his mouth. The German officer beats him up very badly but there is no response from him. Frederick is also standing here witnessing all this. There is a Catholic school situated near the shell house. We see a nun named Teresa. She put herself in a room and is punishing herself. She takes responsibility for all the people that lost their lives in World War II. She considers herself to be as responsible as the Germans. She lost hope that Denmark may get its freedom from Germany. Teresa Metz is a senior nun. The senior nun says that Teresa has no right to punish herself for what is going on in the world. She cannot decide what is right and what is wrong as it is the work of God. Teresa replied that she is searching for God. She said that God forgot about this world. 
She also says that God is not able to feel the pain that the citizens are going through because of the war. The senior nun does not have answers to Teresa's questions. Henry and his mother reach Copenhagen. Henry's aunt has a daughter named Rigmore who is almost as old as Henry. As they are in a similar age group, Rigmore understands that Harry is going through something. Henry tries to talk but his voice does not come out. Henry's mother leaves him there and leaves. Henry remembers that day and gets emotional. Peter gets ready for their next mission which is Mission Carthage which is to raid the Shell House. It is by far the riskiest mission that they performed. He is looking at the design model of the Shell House. They suspect that the Germans know about their plan, therefore, they kept a few Danish resistance members in the Shell House as a human shield hoping the British Air Force would step back. But the British officers set their minds. They are going to go through with this mission. They do not mind sacrificing a few citizens for the greater good. They want to free Denmark from German control no matter what happens. Rigmore is talking Henry to her school. It is the same school that is located near the Shell House. Eva is with Rigor as they are friends. Rigmore tells Henry that Eva saw a traumatizing event too but she is able to speak just like before. Rigmore tells Henry that everything will be alright and he will be able to speak again soon. She supports him and gives him courage. Near the Shell House, they are beating up the same Danish soldier from before. They are asking him for information and he is refusing. Frederick lifts him and is taking him along with them. Teresa is nearby and she is watching everything that is happening and becomes sad. She knows that Frederick is a Danish man. He is working with his enemies and is beating up his own man. As Teresa keeps staring at Frederick, he goes near her. She looks at the injury on his hand and tells him that he is a bad person. She says that he will burn in hell for siding with the wrong people. She asks him to look back and change his ways before it is too late and leaves. Her words take a hit on Frederick and he starts thinking. They take the man into the attic of the shell house. There is already a prisoner there. He gives hope to the one who just came in that there will be a raid on the shell house which will give freedom to Denmark. He asks how he is so sure about this. The other one replies that he was there when the decision was being made. Both of them know that they will die in the shell house if there is an attack. But they are more than happy to die if it means that their country will get freedom. Frederick goes back to Teresa and asks her about their previous encounter. He says that he died on the inside and he does not feel anything anymore so it does not matter what he does. Teresa says that he is telling all that just to get sympathy but in reality, he is just running from himself. But Frederick knows that there is going back from where he is right now. He considers himself to be the bad guy. He starts to leave but Teresa stops him and asks him to kiss her. Both of them share an intimate kiss together. Frederick does not understand anything but there is something magical that happened to him. Then he leaves. After going home from school, Rigmore and Harry perform an act in front of Rigmore's parents. They seem very happy looking at the kids getting along and doing things together. That night, Frederick goes to meet Teresa again. He could not sleep as Teresa's words were echoing in his mind. He says Teresa that he wants to change. He also says that he wants to ask God's forgiveness for all his sins. Teresa takes him to the church. She asks him to pray to God but he couldn't as he has never been to a church before. He tries to ask forgiveness to God and then leaves. The British Air Force is getting ready for the attack on the Shell House. Their only target was to get rid of the German base in Denmark and make it independent. The Air Force includes Peter and Andy too. But, Peter is feeling very uneasy as something doesn't feel right to him. The Danish prisoners in the attic of Shell House are waiting for the attack to happen along with their death. Eva is having breakfast with her father but he seems upset today. As usual, three of them leave for school that day. Frederick meets his father and asks for his forgiveness. He says that he does not want to be part of the German army anymore. He wants to be a better man and help the people of his own country, his father gets emotional and hugs him. Frederick makes his decision and leaves the house. At the school, the kids are having a rehearsal for their play which includes Eva, Henrik and Rigmore. The citizens did not know about the attack that was going to take place that day as it was a secret mission. The British Air Force is speeding toward Copenhagen City. Meanwhile, Peter and Andy's plane hit something and takes a detour toward the school and crashes near it. People are concerned due to the blast and the emergency sirens start. The children start leaving the school. A few other aircraft start going towards the shell house and start their blast. The shell house contains many important officers from Germany. 
When the other pilots are on their way, they see smoke coming from two different locations. The school and the shell house. As they see the smoke coming out from the school first, they start raiding the school and shooting from above. The senior pilots try to tell them that they are in the wrong location but they do not get it and keep raiding the school. Teresa sees that a few kids lost their lives due to the bomb blast and she gets terrified. She takes a few kids including Rigmore and hides in the basement. Henry and Eva come out of the building. Henry sees a few aircraft and goes back inside. Eva goes to the other side of the building. By this time everyone stoves that there is a blast going on at the school. The parents de-concerned and they start going to school. Ava's mother and Rigmore's parents also run towards the school. Meanwhile, the shield house is almost down and a few Danish resistance people were able to save their lives and came out. The school is almost destroyed too and a few nuns are coming out with a few kids. All the parents are concerned as they did not know what is happening. Everything is so chaotic and they did not know what to do. A few parents along with Frederick start taking out the stones hoping there will be kids under them. Th. Rescue force reaches the school and they start getting the work done fast. Rigmore and Teresa are stuck inside where they could not even move. Slowly water fills up to the place where Rigmore was stuck and Teresa realized that she is dead. Frederick goes on searching for people and listens to Teresa and goes to rescue her. All the parents are told to assemble near the treater and they were supposed to receive information about their children over there. Rigmore's mother finds Henry and becomes happy. He says that he doesn't know where Rigmore is and tells that he saw Eva leaving the place as soon as the blast started. Eva's mother goes home hoping to find her child. When she reaches home she finds Eva sitting at the dining table having soup with a traumatized look on her face and the film ends. That's all for today's video and thanks for watching it. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, let me know in the comments below which movie you want me to cover in the next video. Until next time, take care and stay tuned.